Okay, so 49, we have a negative charge, negative charge, positive charge, positive charge. Uh, this question wants us to find the electric field at x equals 2, y equals 0. So that's a point like over here somewhere, right? Um, all right, so we first, we first are going to figure out the direction of the electric field. Before we do anything, the, uh, there's three charges. So let's call this guy charge 1. This guy will be charge 2. This guy will be charge 3. Uh, there's three charges contributing to the total electric field over at this point. So let's start with charge 1. What do we know about negative charges? The electric field goes where? In, 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 in all directions it goes in. Because why? That's what a little positive guy would do. All three of these charges are big guys. They're all big dudes. They're all point charges. If you stuck a little positive guy right here, which way would he go? In. Okay. So over here, at the point we're focusing on, what's the electric field doing from charge one? It's going in to the left. Everybody see that? So we'll just put E1 pointing to the left. Electric field from charge one. Now, charge two is positive. Electric fields go out from big positive. So what's the electric field from charge two doing over here? It's going out to the right. That makes sense? So E2, the electric field from charge two, points to the right. Charge three is positive. Electric field goes out in all directions. So it's going out to the right. So we have E1 to the left and then E2 and E3 point to the right, okay? Now what's the equation for finding electric field at a distance from a charge? E equals KQ over R squared. So what we have to do is find each one of these electric fields separately. We gotta find E1, we gotta find E2, I'll do it this way, E1, E2, E3. So we're basically using this equation. So K is 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. Uh, okay, so E1, 4 times 10 to the negative 9th. That. Now what's the distance for charge 1? It's the distance from here all the way to there. What's that distance? Well, what's the distance from here to there? That's two meters, so what must this distance be? It's gotta be 2.5, 2.5 meters, and then square it. So E1 comes out as 5.76 Newton per Coulomb to the left, right? We already know that, which is negative. Hey man, does this negative come from the equation or from just the fact that we know that E1's to the left? E wants to the left. The, the, the equation is not going to tell you the direction. Okay, E2, plugging into this equation again, KQ over R squared. So 9 times 10 to the 9th, Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. So now we have 5 nanocoulombs, 5 times 10 to the negative 9. Uh, what's the distance for charge 2? That's 2 meters, right? The distance in here is 2 meters. So E2 comes out as 11.25 Newtons per Coulomb to the right, points to the right. E3, 9 times 10 to the 9th, Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. Uh, charge 3 is 3 times 10 to the negative 9 Coulombs. Uh, the distance here is 1.2 meters. Where did I get 1.2 from? Well, from, hold on. So this is 0.8, that's 2, so 2 minus 0.8, that's got to be 1.2. So E3 comes out as 18.75 newtons per coulomb to the right. So let's shrink this down here. So now we're ready to answer it. So what will the total electric field be? Basically, we got to add these all up, right? So to the right is plus, to the left is minus. So you're going to go 18.75 plus 11.25.
minus 5.76. These are all Newton per Coulomb. And then the answer comes out as 24.2 <coughs> Newtons per Coulomb. Which way? To the right. To the right. right.